The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel. This is Off Tap Life. I'm Faith Chase, aka Crossbacks, aka Tools and Effect. Back in the deck, can we wreck the set? And don't you forget, we're back with another one. And we're gonna dive straight in, man, because I know that you guys really can't wait to hear some more Kensington. That's right, because that's what's coming up thanks to Alma. Alma has dropped Kensington Riddles live at Johan Krujif arena amsterdam requests so we're gonna make that happen right now if you're new to the channel consider subscribing joining the family we'd love to have you and uh yeah guys without further ado let's get into this for me for alma and for you So, he's said, put your hand up in the air and wave. <laughs> I guess, I don't know, man. Just. <laughs> it's riddle. See that every time, every time you see them, their arenas are just packed solid, sold out, man. Look at those views, man. I'm telling you. These dudes are freaking huge over there, man. Huge. Uh oh. say man every time and you guys have heard me say this but i just say man i just think that these guys here man they freaking are just superb really good love his tonality the vocals man the whole band they're just I, i've said this you guys have heard me man but they're just freaking they're just a really tight just unit and everything they do they it's like i want to make sure that it's just perfect everything from not just the audio but the visuals, the whole nine yards, is just freaking well thought out, well planned, well executed. 
That's the Kingsington experience, baby. Tell me, is it better now? Keep your right hand by my side. Or have your life stone to fade? Settle down. If only I could settle down. That is, you know, man, like, that is exactly, when you go to a concert, that's the feeling you want to have, man. You want to feel like you've just experienced something that's super awesome, super cool, something that you will never forget for the rest of your life. That's the kind of experience you're hoping to have. A lot of times, you go somewhere like that and you, you're left feeling a little bit like, oh, it's not as good as I thought it would be. But I tell you, man, I think going to see them live would exceed your expectations because like I already feel that way just freaking watching them on a video. Could you imagine the live just, oh my gosh. So someday, man, I think I will try to, well, it's hard to even plan that kind of stuff now with this whole virus thing, man. Like it's hard to even, I can't, personally, I can't even imagine being around that many people like ever again i don't know man and i used to perform in front of big st in, in big stadiums in front of tons of people man back in the day i couldn't imagine doing that right now man if they told me yo we need you to go and perform somewhere right now i'd be like yo man unless it's a freaking park where i'm the only one in there <laughs> yeah i ain't going because <laughs> it's just scary right now it's just scary like I just don't know, I don't know, man. They gotta find a vaccine soon, man. They gotta do it. They gotta freaking, there's some potential ones that they're testing that seems to be working, man. They need to go ahead and just pull the trigger and be like, yo, man, we we just gonna go ahead and start vaccinating people with like more people than their trial groups. Just freaking vaccinate more people and just freaking go for it, man. Because right now it's just doing whatever you want to call this. I don't know if you call it doing nothing, but the problem isn't the government anyways. It's this the other thing. People are mad at governments and stuff. It's not, it's not really the government's fault. It's people, just people in general, not following the guidelines. Like if every single person wore a mask, 
did the social distancing. I think the distance isn't good enough because they've done some tests lately that says that someone from eight feet away, if they sneeze, it can reach you. Eight feet, dude. Not three feet. Not six feet. Eight feet. So, so you need, they need to increase that social distance. Not that anyone's going to do it because people aren't even doing it with the minimum requirement they're saying now. I mean, I don't know, but I just, it just, it's just, it's just heartbreaking to think that these type of events, this type of atmosphere, you know, these big awesome shows, we we may never be able to experience that again, man. Actually, no, I take that back. Some people will be able to experience that again because some people just don't seem to really give an F about this whole thing, like straight up, dude. I was watching even on the news here, just this past weekend, in um i think it was in sydney and one of the football clubs here um they freaking had this whole thing it was a party or some sort going on at their freaking football club people were packed no social distancing no mask it's like i don't understand how people were just thinking after all that's going on watching the news every day you how can you not know that this thing is not over? I just don't understand, man. So, I don't know. I hope they figure it out really soon so that we can stop losing lives and so that we can experience amazing events like this again, safely. I don't say, because still some people are going ahead with their plans. The NBA, freaking Disneyland's open. NBA's freaking back trying to play. Like, like there's just so I don't understand. Someone tell me when did going to a freaking amusement park become a freaking uh, necessity in the middle of a pandemic. Someone tell me when that happened. Anyway, it's a topic for another day, another video. It just, it just reminded me though, you know, seeing all those people in there and the atmosphere, how cool that was, man. I remember going, to, to, you know, and being in that type of environment so many occasions and it was just, it's electrifying. There's no words. Nothing compares to that. It's just sad that we're now in a point in history where... Anyways, love you guys. Live each moment to the fullest. Keep it off tap. Right now, all right. This is just for you guys. We gotta get out of here. 